Oh, hey, LaBeard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing Rebel, the first fragrance from Pete and Pedro, a company owned by Alpha M. Now, I'm not going to stand here and run down Alpha's resume because if you don't know about him and you're in the men's space, then you likely been living under a rock. But for those of you who care to know, Aaron Marino, aka Alpha M, was the mastermind behind this scent. And I know that sometimes it may seem that people release things and it may be out of the blue, but I feel like this one was a great natural progression. Obviously, he is a men's lifestyle fashion guru, so therefore, he has holdings in men's skincare products, etc., and fragrance would likely be a good natural progression. Now that we got that stuff out of the way, you understand the background on this fragrance and why we're talking about it <laughs> let's get down to the juice now as always we kick off this thing with the presentation and with the presentation you get a box that doesn't matter what it looks like all right fuck the box yes alpha your box gets crushed as well look man the presentation on pete and pedro's rebel is really no frills all right if you are into fragrance and you're looking for crazy bottles and boxes, you're not really gonna get that. What I do think that this presentation is probably in line with what you would see in a men's fashion store, like, right? So if you're looking at Gap or Banana Republic, anything that they're going to present to you, you can pretty much get here. Now Rebel is an auto parfum concentration and the inspiration behind this fragrance comes from the king of fragrances, which, well, a fragrance that's widely regarded as the king, which is Creed Aventus, all right? now. Off the rip, I'm gonna tell you that this one is not a 100% clone of Aventus, but also it's not what they were setting out to do. So if you were looking for that, exit this video now. But for those of you who weren't, stick around. Now in the top notes of Rebel, you have bergamot, you have pineapple, and you also have nutmeg. In the mid, you have thyme and sage, and then in the base, you have some amber, you have patchouli, and you also have some mossy and woody notes. For those of you who care, that's your distribution, so you got some nice sprays on this little old bottle here. Now on first spray of this fragrance, I get a lot of bergamot right off the break. It comes off to be very fruity, which I really enjoy. Now here's the thing, a lot of fragrances that attempt to recreate a Creed Aventus type of feel kind of go way too far in the bergamot side as they end up smelling a bit like cleaners yes man like household cleaners but i don't get that from this one i feel like they did just enough to be reminiscent to aventus but not overdoing it now here's another thing a lot of people don't really realize this but some of the times and i'm going to say some of the times because depending on what batch you get your thoughts may vary on this but um some of the times man a lot of that what you think is that pineapple in the top is actually being brought to you by some of that bergamot now bergamot as i stated again can be done extremely wrong but i feel like they did a nice blend and balance of that in the top notes of this thing now don't get too much of the pineapple but again a lot of that bergamot can sometimes come off as pineapple so no, it's there. Now, as you begin to get between 15 and 30 minutes of wearing this fragrance, you get some of that thyme and some of those more herbal notes in that mid here that help it as it transitions into the base. Now, when you get some of those herbal notes, it begins to get a bit of a more masculine feel. Sometimes a lot of the fruity notes can go either way. So if you hear me speak about fruity notes, don't shy away. Now, once you're 30 minutes plus into this thing, I believe that that's where it's fully dried down and you begin to get some of the amber notes in here, which gives it some warmth to that bright, fresh fragrance that you get. Now, here's the thing, man. I really think that this fragrance can work as a standalone scent. Now, if you are looking to replace Creed Aventus, then you're likely not going to do it with this scent. However, if you need a fragrance that's going to be a good daily driver that you can use as an alternative to Creed Aventus, then this is definitely a way that you can go, especially if you are looking to support one of your favorite YouTubers. For those of you who are wondering if this one is going to be a good pickup, I believe it is. Again, as a standalone scent, this one does work on its own. If you're looking for a masculine, fresh, fruity scent with a hint of wood notes, then this is definitely one that could work for you. I think if you're going to compare it head on with Creed Aventus, then Aventus is going to win every time. And also, maybe some of those ones out there who set out to be direct 
clones of Creed Aventus will win on that note as well. However, I think if you're looking for a good, once again, alternative fragrance, then this one is solid and it'll definitely work for you. Uh, here's one of the things that I can tell you about the Alpha M stable of products that I've tried out there, regardless of it's the brand, and this time we're talking about Pete and Pedro, is that they have really mastered quality within their products. So I think that's one of the things that helped them stand apart is you never have to wonder what you're gonna get with this here. So again, I think this one is a solid scent and then the price point isn't bad at all. This thing is $49, but because they're sponsoring today's video you're going to save 20 percent on your order yeah man it's that simple because you're watching this video and you want to pick this thing up or anything else on the pete and pedro website all you have to do is put in big beard 20 and it's going to save you 20 percent off your entire order now here's a few things to keep in mind as i stated this thing is 49 dollars and we haven't talked about the performance yet now the performance on this thing is about four to six hours listen man there are a lot of other fragrances out there that don't do as well as that four to six hours and there are a lot of fragrances out there that can do above and beyond that four to six hours but they understand that and they got you covered as well listen if you just want to sample this thing out you can try out one of their sample travel atomizers it starts off at $20 and this one is pretty simple man you can spray this thing on throughout the day and get a feeling for the performance this thing is also 20 bucks and you also save the 20% on that thing as well but now let's say you want to do both all right this is, thing is pretty simple for your frag kids out there you already know how to do this but if not man you take your Pete and Pedro travel atomizer you put it down here at the bottom and you just pump and add it to this thing for you to carry throughout the day so reapplying is a breeze so as I stated this thing is $49 with the big beard 20% off code you're now competing with fragrances from houses like Zara um, H&M Gap etc but at the $49 price point plus the Big beer, 20% off coupon code. I definitely think this is one that you should try. This is exclusively available at beatingpedro.com. I will have it linked and listed down below. Again, your savings are everything on the site. It's gonna last from 30 days for the time that I publish this video, so do not wait. So if I had to rate this thing, I would give it a solid seven on a big beer B rating scale. Well, listen, man, so there you have it. As always, I'm your boy. Big B, B, and hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and we all back again. Make sure you check out my people over at Pete and Pedro. And before you go, hit the goddamn bell.